Hello, I'm Charlotte Collins and welcome to The Sherlock Show. We have a fab show for you today from a huge party wear hall to a look behind the scenes at a really fun, festive Sherlock shoot. But first, let me introduce our very fabulous guests. I'm joined by stylist, podcaster, editor, pioneer of secondhand fashion and all-round industry legend, Bay Garnet. Uh, lawyer, and I'm here, woo, round of applause. Uh, lawyer and entre uh, entrepreneur, Angela Lee, and fashion and visual director, Federica LeBan. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. Hello. Hi. Lovely to have you all here. Um, Bay, because you're here, for those who don't know, thrifting, it's your thing, right? It's all about vintage fashion, you know, you've been an ambassador for Oxfam, all these fabulous things. So we have to talk about thrifting, pre-love fashion. I know you guys are experts as well. Bay, I'll come to you first. Where do you start? I mean, I'm sure you're asked this all the time, but what are, what are your rules for thrifting, for vintage hunting? What are you looking for? Well, I think the first rule is there are no rules, <laughs> but also there are a few tips. The first thing I'd say is to approach secondhand shopping, thrifting, as you would buying something new. People see it as this kind of other thing, which can be slightly daunting. Um, so just go in and just see kind of what, you know, strikes you as being great. The other thing that's quite good, which is slightly kind of um, binning what I've just said, but to go in with something that you have in mind is really, really good. So let's say a navy roll neck, for example, um, go in with something in mind and it, you might not find that thing but you'll find something really good. It's that thing of kind of having a point of engagement. Okay. And it's quite good. It gives you a sense of mission and purpose. And you will find something. That okay. is the thrifting karma. You go <laughs> in, you're like, you're, you're tuned in, you'll find something. Okay, good. okay. It's about like aligning everything to so yeah. put out good energy but, for something. But in the same way that you do when you go into probably a new shop mm -hmm. sometimes, you're like, you know what? I'm really into that. I want yeah. to find that. It's that same thing, that kind of focus. Okay. Does that make sense? I think so, yeah. It's such a good tip. Is it really? Yeah, because yeah, otherwise you just go in and you probably just buy everything that you yeah. lay yeah, your hands exactly. on. Or you yeah. buy nothing. Or, yes. True. So I, I remember being, not too sorry to colonize the conversation. Please do. <laughs> but I remember going into a charity shop and I really wanted to find something. I was like, I'm going to find something. And I looked around, there was nothing. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go around this shop one more time. And I am in the mood to find something, so show me something. And I went around one more time, and I went back to the men's well, and there was this incredible 90s APC, maybe it was Helmut Lang, battered denim jacket, and I was like, thank you. You showed yourself about time. Okay. You know, you okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm telling you the happens. vintage gods, yeah. basically. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I get it, I get it. Um, I, feel, I feel almost guilty when we lump all the different types of pre-love fashion into what, I mean, you know, you can be going to charity shops, you can go to vintage markets, whatever. Where do you guys like to go for pre-love things? Fede, where do you go? I am a really big fan of eBay. So good. I personally um, spend my days going on eBay and just looking for vintage suits. Okay. I love an 80s suit. You know where, like, my grandma used to wear those suits mm. and because they're not really a trend now, which I love, they're still cheap. Like, th the whole point of, for me especially, the whole point of thrifting and vintage shopping is that it's something that you're not going to see 10 of mm -hmm. in the street and uh, it's cheaper, it's more sustainable. So I, I'm a big, big fan. My whole wardrobe is made of mm -hmm. like archive of vintage pieces. So eBay is what my you, like, hobby. Some people say that you have to have your terms, like your search terms yeah. really spot on to just filter through the rubbish. Yeah. What are you searching for? Shoulder pads. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's literally my keyword. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Even what kind of jacket, like 80s? Jack, I'm going to show you my, my basket. <laughs> it's yeah. scary. Yeah. Literally 80s suit. My search is shoulder pad suits or like 80s jacket, 80s women's suits, mm -hmm. vintage. This kind of, because yeah, the, the like very old looking granny Kind of Shoulder pad, yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Right. yeah. yeah. Love love yeah. 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 Angela, what about yeah. you? Where do you where do you look for pre love fashion? I think online is really great. And when you go to eBay, you have to have someone like Fetty who knows her fashion, <laughs> yeah. who can vet it well. You know, you know whether it's authentic or yeah. not. So if you go to places like the Real Real, the Poshmark. Um, they do the work for you. Mm. So you probably will have an extra layer of safety knowing yeah. that they're sending you something yeah. that you can have mm -hmm. knowing that they were good. The real real yeah. in New York is like my oh favorite. My God. Okay. And in they LA, I've been to the so LA one. Good. Good. They are so good. The best, the most but I also ever. heard there is an Oxfam store near where um, Victoria and um, David Beckham lives. <laughs> <Yeah>. and, and <laughs> apparently that's the best 
uh, Oxfam to go. Okay, I haven't go. verified well, it. But there's I think debates. That would there's be debates the about which yeah. out of Gold yeah. Which is your best Oxfam in London for fines? I mean, the Oxfam online shop's great. Okay. Oh, it's right. oh, another online shop. Yeah, I know. Wow. That's the thing. No it's quite under the okay. radar. It's oh, wow. really, really good. And you go vintage and, or not vintage. You get, so Oxfam online is a great destination for shopping secondhand. Mm. But my favorite shop is the one in Westbourne Grove is really good. Mm. Oh. And just to say eBay, and I love that thing of I really wanted a dark velvet, imperial purple velvet mm. jacket. And that thing of going to Vestia yeah. yeah. or going to eBay and being able to search it in, it's, mm. very, yeah. it's very fun. Yeah. <laughs> it, it is, is fun. It's, like it's so addictive. Fun. It when yes. you're bidding, when you get into bidding wars, it's, it's I find so that really yeah. stressful. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I also, I think First Dibs as well, which is mostly known for furniture. Yeah. Yes. So it's, yeah. it's really, really good. Because you're getting yeah. from all over the world and yeah. it's just, it's yeah. brilliant. I know, I'm sure, I know this is an impossible question, but is there one thing you've bought pre-loved secondhand vintage that you're just so thrilled with whether it was because it was such a bargain or you just love the item so much Angela I'm wearing them oh, yeah. those they are oh, I've been admiring these them. <laughs> they are incredible so nice. those they're are actually insane. quite light where did you get them I got them from uh, where uh, what goes around um, comes oh, okay. around yeah, in New York oh, yeah. and that was like at least 10 years ago so I think back then you get it in really good prices so, yeah, and also insane. the price per wear because I've been living I don't actually. I would say they look like nineties. Yeah, or... they're incredible. If you yeah. can't see on camera, they, they it's got the Chanel C's in the in the little bird in cage. In the little bird yes. cage. Yes. Yes. Slide the best. Yeah, yeah. thank you. Bay, wow. is it impossible? <laughs> too many to count. <laughs> impossible. <laughs> I mean they're happy to, I mean they you know, yeah, but everything I get I kind of wear. I'm not a collector. Okay. So I love a men's I mean what I love is going to the men's room and getting like I'll see a shirt. There was a Victoria Beckham shirt that I loved. And it was lilac, so good. And I wanted to get it, but it sold out. And then I thought, no, I'm going to get one secondhand. And I love that thing of seeing something and then going, it will come to me. Mm. And again, you know, it has. I found a really good lilac shirt. But that's, a, by the way, I mean, lots and lots of things. <laughs> it's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. But also, yeah, like the banana print top that I found that I put in Vogue that yes, Moss yes, wore. Yes. So I've still got that. That's oh. probably just in terms of sheer, like, Oh, you know, like an yeah. old mate. Lots of things. <laughs> Federico, yeah. Federico, what about you? I actually have one. It's this red coat, vintage coat with like faux fur black um, uh, details. Mm -hmm. And it's insane. It looks like vintage Gucci, but it's not like it's not branded. Mm -hmm. It's insane. Love. I show you it's insane. Really cool. Can't yeah. wait to I see. I want to see. I want yeah. to see everybody. I know. I'm going to send you a picture. It's, okay. it's, it's mad. We'll, we'll have yeah. you all back and we'll do a deep, deep yeah, dive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. There's not enough time. Um, all right. Thanks, everybody. Next up, it is one of our favorite segments of the year. Polly and Anna Bromelow headed to Harvey Nichols last week to try on the very best of their party season offering. From sequins to more sequins, here's what they found. Hello! Hello! I'm excited for our annual gathering at Harvey Nichols. This now has to happen every single year. Absolutely. Christmas officially starts when we go yeah. and have a look around. Oh, should we go in? Yeah. yeah. Let's do Let's it! Let's get to it! Are you ready? I'm so ready. It's always so good, isn't it? Every year. It's probably my favourite time of the year is not Christmas, but just coming to I Harvey totally Nichols. Agree. This one day, <laughs> this one day, I get to try on Ben and the shopping day. I'm, we're obviously going to head straight to the sparkles. Oh my god, like no. a magpie, yeah. That's so oh, gorgeous. hello. So, 16 Arlington, always a winner. This is the dress that Hayley Bieber wore, or like the same style, same design, but like maybe not secret. I absolutely but, oh. love it, absolutely mm. beautiful. But I like this for a little, a little draw jobby like that. Yeah, that's good. Hello. Every goddamn year, I am drawn to this top and I think to myself, I might get it. Do like, it, do it. It's so nice. I love, I love that as well. That's so elegant. No, isn't, isn't it? that elegant? Really gorgeous. Like, it's still really fun. Not like, too Halloweeny. No, not too Halloweeny. I think at you'd all. need some great jewelry with this, no? Yeah, like a big chunky earring or yeah. something. Kind of like what you're wearing. A bit of a, bit of a sparkle with it. Yeah. Oh, I think that's stunning. I bet that neckline's amazing. Mm, I need to try that on. Oh, oh! Do we not love this? Oh, Oxford. Yeah. I like that. Oh god, maybe. Oh, Maybe God, I'll that try that. Chocolate brown is so. Ooh. You really rock brown. Oh, I really I like that. Yeah. Blaze the dress as well. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, that's really lovely little spin on the yeah. tuxedo dress. Refill the shoulder padding in that as well. I love that. 
Okay, lo lots, lots on offer here. Yeah. Now this brand. Ooh, so Giuseppe Di Morabito. Di Morabito, yeah. I'm yeah. re-butchering that. I'm not actually, <laughs> I mean, I'm immediately drawn to that. I mean, quite like brave, that one, isn't it? But I think, <laughs> I think I would wear that with like a big that blazer. That would be more of a top on me, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and me, to be honest. But like, I didn't think about that. <laughs> like, but that's sure. so beautiful, yeah, that top. I, I think that kind of structure there is what makes it. Especially with your new short hair. Awesome. Yeah. Do it, do it's it. Vibe, isn't it? Okay, yeah. yeah, and I am, I am drawn to this really subtle array. number. <laughs> yeah, it's very shy and retiring, isn't it? You know, what do you think? Oh my gosh. That's oh. so cool. <laughs> Um, how would you wear that? I find red, like red sometimes quite tricky, but I feel like you know. I, well, I I probably go for a full red lip and would you? Re really red it out. Just lean in. Yeah, yeah, lean in very heavily. With the mini skirt. <laughs> I was thinking more the trousers. The trousers. New East, yeah, it is new studio, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, very nice. Okay, yeah, because I tried this one last year oh, that's in, um, in the silver. Oh, this one? And the little matching. Oh, Oh, yes. similar, similar, very similar. Yeah, very similar vibes, and then like a matching mini skirt and just absolutely fell in love with it. And that so is a good. very, very chic slip dress, isn't actually. It? Yeah. I think that's rather gorgeous. It's quite classic, isn't it? Okay, Mac cool. and Mac, we love their stuff. Oh, gosh, that's beautiful. Is that so pretty? It's amazing, isn't it? I love that. I can never resist, resist a nice white dress. Wow. It's really beautiful. God, that's so beautiful, isn't it? I feel like that wouldn't be quite warm to wear, like, which is actually something to think about for a spy season. It would be. Yeah, you can wear your dress, but you're You'd like, have quite you know, a cold hip, like, but I otherwise... Well, <laughs> I sometimes feel like this part of my hip gets very really warm. particularly. <laughs> right. So, Ganny. Ganny. It's that's really so gorgeous lovely. velvet dress, like, for Christmas Day. Yeah, that's, that's so nice, really beautiful. It? Again, with, like, a big earring or something. Like, oh, yeah, love that. Isn't that stunning? Brocade fabric, isn't it? Quite structured. Oh, I, lo I love that pop of colour. Yeah. Like, I think sometimes also... So if you're going for a mini mini, it's quite nice to have something a bit more Bluminous. feminine yeah. and bigger on top. Yeah. You're going very um, muted and chic, and I seem to be going well, quite that's full good, on, Polly, it? with no, red sequins and electric on. blue. Because uh, you know, you can be a girl who does both, or you know, yeah. Fun. That's really fun, isn't it? Like this is lovely as well. Detail. This cut on the shoulder is gorgeous. Yeah. I seem to be gravitating towards all the green ones. Oh, cool! I Ooh. love it. Very rough, very fun. Yeah. Get the legs out. Get the legs out, hon. Did you tan today? I, d I did uh, a couple of days ago. Yeah, me too. But quite patchy. You That's going to be in... really nicely revealed when I tie this off. Maybe don't seem in too close. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love that. That's lovely. Yeah, I didn't see that. That's like this little mini I picked up, Probably. but longer. Oh, well, yeah, I think I will. My, my, oh, that's really lovely. So cool. Kind of a vintage -y feel to it. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, cool. Two long dresses for me. Okay. My first fun piece. A short. They always deliver, don't they? They always do. Year in, year out, all year round. Is it a dress? I like. I like it. Is it a I, dress? Yeah, I think it is a dress. Proper puffbally. Eighties. That's pretty fab. Yeah. What a colour. Oh, that me. jacket's quite awesome, isn't it? Yeah. Like denim. So it's you know not automatically what you'd think. I kind of but love I kind that. Of dig it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you should go for it. Uh, yeah, okay, maybe I will. Oh no, I see. I'm I'm really loving that. Yeah, no, I, no? I I'm always quite like funny about purple, but I, I love really? the shape of it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not my favourite colour, but uh, I think I've been converted by my middle daughter, who's obsessed with lilac. Well, maybe, maybe I, I've, I've seen convinced. it so much. Yeah. That I've acclimatised. Okay. Well, maybe you can convince maybe me. Try maybe. That. Oh, my God. That's so <laughs> extra, isn't it? Oh my god, it's amazing. That I mean if that is an 18th <gasps> then what is so oh, good. That oh I taffeta. love a side boat. See you loving purple. I told you. Mm. I I've, I've become acclimatized. Oh, no. and that's yeah. the only colour that I can see. Yeah, it's rubbed off on you. I've got these trousers and they're the best silver leather trousers in the world, in my humble opinion. They're like, they're lined, so they're not too sweaty. They're a really good shape. In fact, I almost wore them today. Did you? Did yeah, you? would you have worn, worn them with your silver shoes? I think it might have been <laughs> just like a step too <laughs> far. Yeah, and a little but silver hat I mean, would have yeah. completed the look. Maybe a silver jacket. <laughs> <laughs> but what's so clever about um, Rotate, I think, is that they kind of cover all bases. So yeah. this, for the very bold. Mm. 
But this is actually a really classic shape. Mm, I feel like they've really flattering. They've done this design in a few different colours and fabrics yeah. over the years, haven't they? But yeah. It's just a really good. But making it design. really bold with these, yeah, with with these, these big, purple big sequins. I really love Kitchery. I have a yeah. couple of their dresses. They're quite affordable, but they're really fun. I always they get, are fun, like, aren't so they? So many compliments on whenever I wear mine. I think this is actually exclusive to Harvey Nichols, all these pieces. Oh, are they really? Um, I mean, like, red's kind of the, the colour, isn't it? So I mean, sweet. it is Christmas. Yeah. I think you can afford to be kind of quite obvious sometimes at Christmas time. <laughs> I'm into this print, though. and this Isn't it nice? Bit, oh, it's just so... I quite like that oriental style. Yeah, I do too. Very pretty. Yeah. I feel like that, even with a pair of, like, jeans. Yay. You can wear it open over a t-shirt or something if you fancy it. Olivia Rubin's always one for another colour. She is such fun, isn't she? Yeah. That's a lovely, elegant, use, actually really useful party mm. addition, I think. You could put that on dresses. Put under, it under a jumper. Under a, oh, that I think you would rock that so hard. Amazing. Yeah, that's unreal. This is like couture. It's absolutely yeah. beautiful. Is it a so it's a or is Yeah, it? it's a coat. Oh, it's absolutely wow. exquisite. Oh, it's quite, you've got to be feeling quite strong the night you wear this. You're really, a strong woman. It's very heavy. That's it's beautiful. really, really stunning. Oh. That's made me happy. This corner is making me happy. It's quite a lot of purple, so maybe... I told you, Polly, you just got to get with the program. Corrected. <laughs> That's like, really beautiful. Quite like, sort of... Is that quite shit? But it's sheer. sheer. So like, Ooh, yeah, you covered up, but actually it's kind of sexy. <gasps> oh, that's lovely. Like, yeah, top Again, com it's comfy. It's this looks more kind of vintage oh. and Kate Mossy. Oh, I didn't me. even notice the difference. Oh, gosh. Oh, thank God you're here. <laughs> Goodness <laughs> sake. Yeah, that's the sleeve. Is yeah, thing? it's the sleeve. It's yeah, the kind of right. I'm obsessed with that. I don't know where the hell I'm wearing it, but my God. Someone invite me to a black tie dinner <laughs> so I can wear that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I do love Mac and Mac. I, lo I love this style. They did them in loads of different velvets yeah. last year, but this colour, this mustardy colour for Christmas is really yeah, beautiful. Yeah, it's so gorgeous. Yeah. Love that shape. Little will sling back quite, yeah, again, like 90s vibes, isn't it, that? Oh, that's gorgeous. Are you still mostly in stilettos, or are you platforming it? I like a platform. Yeah. Yeah, with yeah. some styles, I think a platform really, oh my god, like that. Amazing. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's so useful, aren't in they? In fact, yeah, maybe I'll get Do you a platform rock a sock as well. Sometimes. I don't. A platform with a sock. But I like that. Well, I like I'm thinking, thinking. I'm, I want to rock a sock. Go on then. This Christmas, I'm thinking <laughs> a sock. lace. Yeah. I mean, oh. I'm not suggesting Christmas party, but. But for uh, if you're getting away this uh, uh, month. Hello. Hello. God, so many Ooh, beautiful gosh. shoes. That's a perfect shoe. Yeah, isn't that is it? a perfect shoe. A work of art. I put that on like my mantelpiece. You yeah. look so cool in that. Sick. Oh, I love that. I love that okay, little bag. Should we try some clothes on? Oh, oh, oh my sick. god. Ab I mean, I do kind of absolutely love it. It's really full on. You would need a serious pair of balls to wear this out. But it's kind of amazing, though. I'm obsessed with this mega bow. Love the fact it's not trailing on the floor, so it's not, you know, it's probably the, the length of a maxi dress, but it is so fabulous. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you look amazing. The colour is so, so it good. couldn't be more 80s. Sequins, yeah. shoulder pads, ruching. Yeah, baby. That's symmetric. So cool. Maybe gold jewelry, I don't know. Do you think? Yeah. I was thinking maybe that's a bit. A, a, I love it. A touch too far. Well, the eighties look, really but like never too much for me. Do you think? It looks great. <laughs> I'm, I'm but this looks to this. Thank you. Yeah, more sequins. I'm up for the See, kind of I like. I love this tone. I think it's yeah. so sophisticated. It's like ox bloody yeah. aubergine. Yeah. Love the like slightly longer sleeve. Love that. It's got a bit of a split down there. Oh, I can't seem to get really the label to Yes, it's kind of sexy, isn't it? And yeah. again, it's like very sort of body skimming, but it's sort of stretchy, so you're not yeah. really sort of And despite it's got this open detail, yeah. I, don't, I don't think it's too much, actually. No. It's like sequins done quite different ways. Yeah, yeah. it's quite <laughs> different. <laughs> but they're both so valid. Yeah, so valid, we're <laughs> loving them. Cool, nice. Ooh! I love that. Love that. They're crazy, the shoes. But 
to deep lip in the shoes. Yeah. I don't know whether I'm kind of... Yeah. Edgy. Oh, I don't know, I think they add a bit of edge to what is quite, quite a classic a, Yeah, dress. I don't I know. Really this is pretty mega. Yeah, it's quite out there, isn't it? I think I could do with possibly a smaller size. I think you could do with a smaller size, area, definitely, because if you lean over... But I, I, do, I do love it, like, it's so cool. And again, like what we mentioned with this, just feels really... It's so vampy, that very vampy. Do you know what, the, the shorter hair is suiting so much. Thank you. Gorgeous long necks, so you can, especially a strapless number is really heaven on you. And I think Vampire's Wife is just such a classic, flattering shape, isn't it? I'm mm. loving these super long sleeves. sleeves. Yeah, They're really okay. elegant. Love, little, little pointed shoulder. Mm. Oh, girl. We've kind of gone for like cowboy. both black but opposite ends I of the spectrum. Know, we? I absolutely <laughs> love this on Thank you. Thank you, likewise. I, love it. I like how you've, you've tucked it in. Yeah, well nice I felt styling. like I could have left it out but then it's got this nice detail on the butt. Oh, I see. Which yeah, it, yeah, yeah, of it's course. It's a shame to cover up. But I mean you could just wear it out. But like it's giving kind of like Nashville. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But absolutely. In a Christmas way, isn't it? Love it. The jeans are a really good shape as well. Big fan of that. Yeah. Let's talk about what do you think? think? What do you I think? Flipping. It's love quite it. amazing, isn't it? Solace is so good. They always, Your always deliver. It looks absolutely insane. I've, I mean, it's vacuum packed. <laughs> I won't lie. I mean, I as little black dresses go, this is, yeah. this is quite amazing. This, again, I think we spoke about this, but like, it's all quite form fitting, but it's nice to have that yeah. balanced out with the volume and the sleeve. I think so. I would never dream of wearing a dress without these sleeves. Yeah. Like, I would need, yeah, I need those, yeah, not yeah. only for the kind of impact and drama, mm. but for kind of confidence wise. Yeah. Kind of, yeah, it's nice and, and flattering. So, so, I feel like you could dance the night away. Just about. Yeah, a little, a little <laughs> shimmy. A little shimmy. Yeah, 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 exactly. No John Travolta moves, but you know, a little. Um, Simone and Matthew Mack. They are quite high, but, uh, what but would you... doable. Yeah, yeah. yeah, doable, totally doable yeah. for like an evening. These are Saint Laurent. I think you can't really go wrong with these. Mules are just so flattering. Yeah, especially with a short skirt. I love it. So, I'm me. Too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you were so like enamored with this before and it looks even better on. Oh, I, yeah. I do absolutely love it. I mean, it's a proper couture vibe. Yeah. Serious investment piece. It's really spectacular, it's, don't you think? It's incredible. I love that you've given it a little slip underneath, but yeah. could you wear it open with like you know, you could... jeans and your boots or something? I don't know. I mean, it's quite, cool. it's quite formal, isn't it? It is. It's almost giving regal vibes. But yeah, you definitely could wear it open. But I, I like the fact that I've got um, a bit of painted mm, spike with like it to give it a bit edge. of a sharp edge. Yeah, and this is this is so lovely on you. This yeah. shape is gorgeous. Well, yeah, I do you know. I love Dinner Valley for event dressing. Yeah, I think they just do such lovely cuts, and they do. this is quite a sort of. Feminine, yeah, like prim dress. But I think the but lace with real gives it a bit of sex a, appeal. Yeah, that, it gives it that sex appeal. It's and then it's flashing a bit of leg on the side. I know, it's a bit nuancey, isn't it? Got my band well that. You do. I'm actually wearing some spanks, so you can't even. Oh, can you can see, see that? No, no, at all. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a no bra situation, but. Oh, gorgeous. And colour? Yeah, colour. Do you wear that colour normally? No, I don't think I would, but again, I think it's because of the contrast lace that sells it to me. Yes. You know? Yeah, it's a lovely, lovely combination. Different looks here we're yeah. vibing. No? Very different. Yeah. Amazing. Yumminess. Absolutely but gorgeous. gorgeous. It's so yeah. nice and on the It might, on the might be my favourite thing so far. It's like giving me boobs that I don't have either. It's slightly <laughs> positive, no? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's I think like... it's stunning. It's much sexier. Oh, yeah. Then. Good with the platform as well. How good are these salmon ones? Oh, these are the salmon ones also in velvet. Velvet, yeah, double velvet. I love, absolutely yeah, love that. I know. And good, good, and good price. This, this is, so is amazing. This is amazing. It's so I mean, they're, they're this, this, so yeah. incredible, like, this is like their signature signature mm. piece. I kind of love it in the really pure so white. So it's really, really comfortable. It's a little roomy for me, so okay. I'm kind of so probably a slightly smaller I size. Think, I think a couple of sizes down. But I think we can all but appreciate how good it looks. Yes. And a real entrance oh my God, dress, yeah. no? You're gonna like command the room, aren't you, when you're walking like that? You like, almost need to perform with this on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, yeah. I forgot that I picked out this bag and I think it works really nicely with this outfit. A little pop of metallic. 
And that is quite a good size as well. You're going to fit quite a lot in that phone, keys, wallet, lippy. And it fits on the shoulder as well. Nice! Could it be any more Christmassy? I, I mean, like I like. do absolutely love it. I would probably be wearing something underneath. The trousers are actually really flattering, fab, quite fluid fit. Paco Rabanne uh, Christmas bauble bag. Adding that final Christmassy touch. Oh, look at us! Oh, oh my goodness, we are like Santa's helper. No? Ready to help. It reminds me of Love Actually with his yeah. in the background. Who'd have thought a red sequin suit a would work so suit. well? But they've done it so, it's very yeah. kind of long and lean, isn't it? Very fluid. Yeah, I love how oversized the blazer is. Really, yeah. really cool. And the bag, my god, that's it's such a moment with that. It's really this, is good. this is gorgeous Thank on you. you. Are you rocking this? Yeah, good old kitchery. Oh, this, this is the exclusive one. Yeah. It's very pretty. Um, with these Vampire's Wife metallic trousers. I feel like I would wear this on Christmas Day, this outfit, because I feel like I like to be a bit dressy but comfortable ultimately. Totally the elasticated waist, oh, kind lovely. of like, you know, nice and fluid in the shoulders and through the leg. Yeah. It's sexy though. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, up, you see a little bit sexy. of that showing off, but yeah, yeah it's got a hook and exactly. eye as well. So you could wear it over a like best shop or something if you want to show a bit more positive. But I think it works. I just I'm mm, loving no. red. Who'd have thought? The red colour of the season. Yeah. Well that was Flipping fun, wasn't it? Oh, I love that pony. We could have gone. We could have gone all day. If yeah, not all week. yeah. Honestly, I think we're being quite conservative there. Do you think? Yeah, there's so much more I could have tried. Not on, with our choices, though. I think. I think we went all out. Oh god, yeah, yeah. We went all out. And that's what I love about Harvey because they always have like the best edit Absolutely. of like really fun pieces. If you had it. to pick one, maybe two things to take home with you, what would you pick? So I genuinely, completely love them all. Yeah. But entirely different reasons. Yeah. I'm absolutely in love with this. Yeah. I think it is, I mean it is so full on, but it's, the cut is sublime and I feel really amazing in it. For number two, I would do that, the solace. The oh yeah, black. remind us. Yeah, that was amazing and you did This was really gorgeous. Phenomenal in that. This was a really, Something, really special piece Yeah, actually. a bit more classic versus a bit more kind of like. Yeah, exactly. This is a full kind of red carpet number. Oh, gosh, yeah, amazing. Um, and this, well, still very dressy, but a very perfect, dramatic LBD. Yeah. Gorgeous. How about you? You know, the Ganny dress, oh, I think. The Ganny dress was a real winner. Yeah. The fit was Gorgeous. absolutely perfect. Yeah, yeah. with the platforms, I can really see myself wearing that a lot. But then I yeah. also love that rotate denim set. I think, you know. Oh, I love that. I'm, you yeah, know, yeah. not always a dress girly. So for me, that was the perfect yeah. like balance of like feeling quite comfortable, a little bit more masculine, but yeah. just has that like jazzy element, which yeah. looks really fun. No, so. very, very cool. Well, thanks so much for watching. Thank you. That was really, really fun, wasn't Such it? Such good fun. Everything that we tried on today will be linked in the show notes. What an amazing edit from Harvey Nichols, as per usual. Um, thanks so much. We'll see you next year. Bye. <laughs>God, that was fun. Thank you, ladies. I think party season has officially begun. Can we say that yet? Yeah, okay. for sure. Yeah, sure. Um, so from big, bold fashion to something a little more understated, we had to talk about the biggest fashion news of last week, which is that Phoebe Philo's, I mean, long-awaited is an understatement, first collection under her own label was launched. For those who don't know, I mean, it's like the most seismic thing to happen in fashion for quite a long time, isn't it? Phoebe Philo, you know, credited with the Phoebe Philo Celine era, which was just so iconic. It's amazing. It's so amazing. So anyway, so she's back. What did we think? First impressions. Angela? I love her stuff. I just feel everything slightly more expensive yeah. on the price point. Slightly. <laughs> slightly. <laughs> I, I think her design, the quality and everything, I'm pretty sure it deserves the pricing. Yeah. But from a you know consumer point of view, I do think it's quite... Bold. And reachable and bold for mm. a lot of people. I mean, that was one of the biggest, uh, unfortunately, yeah. that almost yeah. was the eclipsing yeah. headline around it, quite how expensive it was. I yeah. mean, design, very good designer fashion is expensive. I mean, yeah. they, that's just kind of the nature that's of the true. beast, right? But I do love the style. Mm. I do love the style. Everything the hand combed was genius. Yes. Everything yeah. hand combed with the tassels or fringe, yeah. however you call it, absolutely amazing. I think my favorite was the one with the... Between a mushroom and olive green color, bold shoulder yeah. blazer, mm -hmm. um, absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. What do we think? Does the price point detract from it? For me personally, you know, she's someone who's so singular. 
and original and she absolutely does things on her own terms and in that sense she's kind of got an anar she's kind of anarchic mm. because she's a disruptor mm -hmm. and I think that the price point is anarchic in a way yeah it's yeah. a kind of like that thing of like this is on my terms mm. and actually she makes a point of saying that of like this is limited this is limited it's not for everybody yeah. she's not pretending it is and whether it's worth that or not is sort of not the point yeah. for me it's yeah. about that thing of like this is what I'm selling it for mm. and this is and this is what and I'm producing a small a very small collection I thought yeah great she's super cool mm. and the and I thought the pieces were super cool and I'd have loved I'd love that sweater mm. that kind of sweater with the roll neck Amazing. you know I'd wear it every day mm. um so do I think the price is is it is it very expensive absolutely am I surprised not a bit mm. do I do I think it's do I think she's brilliant and just does things on her own time mm. like everybody else yeah I do mm. you know so she has no kind of obligation no, to, exactly. to be yeah. creating for the masses I yeah. suppose and she and never so, she never no. said she wanted to no yeah. so true and actually I suppose there are so many brands out there who are you know who are available on all the retailers who have even more offensive price yeah. points that actually That's as you say true. she's yeah. kind of Maybe she's the least to blame for all of it. She does it on yeah. her terms. Yeah. I think and so the true. price points are on her terms. Mm. And it goes with that narrative. It's her absolutely her yeah. narrative. And I really respect that. Yeah, I agree. And I think she's a proper... She's a, she's a really unusually kind of independent and kind of cool yeah. person. Proper creative. Yeah. Um, Federica, any favourite pieces? What stood out for you? I I mean, I love her. Mm. I really, really love Vin Philo. And just touching the price point, um, I think, the, obviously we're not talking about the row, but the row has kind of the same mm -hmm. price points and we never really talk about it. Mm -hmm. It's it's really expensive. Mm -hmm. um, so I think I agree with you on that because no one no one told her, like she's mm -hmm. not saying, oh, this is for everyone. Mm -hmm. This is my collection and that's it. Yeah. I actually think it's quite funny, like especially the tote bag that's over 8,000 yeah. pounds. <laughs> it's actually quite funny. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Like, but no, but there's kind of punk, totally. Yeah, exactly. It's punk, exactly. And, and as you said, it's like you know what? You yeah. can afford it. Yeah, yeah. 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 Why is it? You don't have yeah. to. Yeah. You touch know that it. Yeah. Don't touch what you can't afford. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> yeah, we'll all just stick. Yeah, there, shall yeah. we? Exactly. Yeah, I my um, love the shoes. Yeah, I love the shoes. Yeah, I love the shoes. Um, I just, I to be honest, I I missed her. I missed Bibi Philo because her Celine was. Like, I, I loved it. Everything, and then yeah. when obviously Sliman took over, it was like, I was actually sad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so I, I would say the shoes just because um, I love accessories because mm. they're so versatile and I love her shoes. Um, but all the all the coats and all the leather pieces, yeah. uh, it's just the way she plays with textures, mm. I just love what she does. I'm, yeah. I'm a fan. Do, I'm we, a fan. do we know what's coming next? Do we know when the next collection drops? I think in December or something. Okay, so the other then... thing I just want to, and I'm sure mm. everyone who, you know, who's got a piece, but I bought Celine sweaters when she was designing those thick cashmere mm. ply that I wear a lot. And I've worn them all the time and there is not one bobble on them. Mm. I'm just yeah, saying, wow. for cost per wear. Yeah. You get what you pay for. Mm. There's, yeah. They are beautifully yeah. made. That, yeah. that is true. That narrative is also true. And she really cares about that, right? Yeah. That's, yeah. Well, this, from one design talent to something quite different, I just need to tell you all, tell everybody at home, that I am very excited on the judging panel for TikTok UK's first ever Fashion Creator Award. Oh, so wow. if you are so cool. over the age of 18 and you are a talented maker, you're creating your own collection or you're a really good upcycler, you can basically win the chance to have your collection produced by TikTok in time for Fashion Week in February. Wow, that's cool. So Amazing. it's all available, all the information's cool. on our TikTok. There's a link in bio on the Sherlux TikTok account, but you basically need to upload a video onto TikTok showing your creations, whether it's an upcycled piece or something you've created from scratch, and you need to add the add yours button. But this is all explained on TikTok. <laughs> and yes, not only do you win the chance to have your collection created, TikTok will also provide you with a videographer, so you can have the entire thing documented. Amazing. And also you win a six month contract with Sheerlux Blush Talent Management, which is our new talent agency. So you can meet all the right industry contacts and get a, foot, a leg up. Yeah. Essentially. Wow. So there we go. Great. So if you know any talented creators, send them our way. Um, and the same to you at home. So very exciting. Yes. Um, all right. Well, the Sherlock's gift guide went live last week, as in other exciting oh, yeah. news. Um, it is definitely our best yet. I know I'm biased, but it is really awesome. If you haven't checked it out yet, have a sneak peek now at behind the scenes of the gift guide shoot in which we made it all happen. Good morning, girls. Good morning. What's the plan for today? 
Christmas are gift guide. Yeah. Christmas gift guide today. Day one of two. So we're shooting the main hero yeah. today and then a couple of the categories. It's a big boy, so we've got, I want to say like 10 categories. Yeah, for her, for him. Lots to get through. Kids, yeah. loads, There's loads, loads, loads okay, of stuff. Cool. The product is here. You've got the ghost guys. <laughs> Here we go. You can't stop, Henry. Good morning. How are you? <laughs> Surviving. Surviving. My clipboard's arrived now, so I can actually feel organized again. We're just setting up. Um, products came a little bit delayed, but it's all here now. Oh. Is it Christmasing or is it Christmas? Yeah. So how many different setups are we doing today? So we do, the one big setup is like the main event where we're basically shooting the cover. It will be like full with like food and product, like just really over the top. And then we have a few subcategories that will also be like parts of the table. And then we have the scene at the bar, which is a separate scene. Then a few scenes more like in our like cozy, like we're probably going to use one of these little, you know, so it's more of like a living room vibe with like unwrapped presents, stuff like that. And is it all, is it all product? We've got um, Safna doing for her, so there'll be her hands in like a shiny okay, outfit. Okay. And then we have a special, special guest for, for him. For a hand model I hear. A hand model, yeah. Mm -hmm. Secret hand model, um, very He's talented. Beaut beautiful yeah, hands, got, apparently. Yeah, great, great hands. <laughs> I only found out this morning that I uh, was doing this, but it's fine. I'm hoping some of the girls have some moisturizers. So, so did you get a manicure prepared? <laughs> We're a little bit delayed. Saskia then had an issue with the tube, so she's on a line bike on her way to Hoover. <laughs> Wait, so is this from the Dorchester? It's from the Dorchester. <gasps> now that is Christmas. Oh my god, it's Christmassing! <laughs> Christmas pudding, isn't it? Is it pudding? Oh my god, it is Christmas pudding. Is it Christmas pudding? I actually don't like Christmas pudding. I love Christmas pudding. There you go, you can have that. Yeah. Oh, She's oh, made it! Oh, I'm so sorry, silly. Okay, so I actually hate lemon tarts. I think that's so bad today. I got stuck in the tube. I literally, the doors would not open and they were like, right, we're just having some problems. It was like a little bit like, a little bit messier before. What we got here, Tash? Oh, it's fine. We have got... Can I open it? A record player with no actual record in it. Yeah, mm. to give it a bit of. I'm saying, oh, that's cute. Yeah. Oh, Saroop, can you show us the? Uh... Oh my god. Sorry, oh, my god. I know you've just been doing this. Yeah. Going with the Barbie, Look with the Barbie theme. Absolute bad boys. But mm. should we start? Like, should we put some stuff here as well? Yeah. You're in charge of all this product, you and Vanessa have been. We're in charge of the product. It's all in different sections. It's got to go straight back to where it's from. Cool. Um, and there's a lot of it, I have to say. We have acquired large candles. So what's the tricky bit of setting this up? A lot of different types of products that wouldn't, you know, usually sit on a table. So it's making it look natural enough, but also like interesting enough. Because obviously we have a lot of different categories and yeah. we want to have a little bit for everyone cool. on the table. So let's go through it. So for her, we know we've got loads. Yeah. For home, we've got a butter dish. We've got what maybe on this side. Bit still? Bit. My only thing with that is I feel like it then feels a bit heavy on either side. Okay. So if we do this, goes out. I have a very childish technique to do bows, but like it actually works in a. Bag. For shoes, it's a bit embarrassing that I do that. <laughs> yeah. Cheap. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's great. Mm -hmm. Add that one to the CV. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. really that's nice. Just lighting the candles, <laughs> setting the mood. I think the above okay. is not so great. No, I think we need like a bit of an angle. And like, I think we need to see. We need to rearrange that left hand side slightly before. Sapna, is it your time? It's your time to shine. It's your time to shine. Although it's just my hand's time to shine. <laughs> so it'll be this really fun sleeve and then. Oops. I think we've got this and then this we've white this one. Here. And we've got this. So those are the two. We need a bit of feathers in yeah. there. Because nice. it is literally just an arm. Yeah, so what did you buy it off? Yeah. Matches yeah. on, honestly. I'm about to go to bed. So time. like, she'll be wearing some stuff and then we'll just like drape some for mm. her stuff around. I know. We've done the hero, so we're now moving on to our category for her, where Sabna is kindly modelling for us. Yes. Marco, how's today going? All good, yes. All good so far? Yeah. 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 Exciting. Does someone want to open it? Can I get a double G&T? Oh, yeah. Um, Woo! 
I'm just gonna <laughs> have a moment with this bottle. <laughs> Someone has to taste test it, right? Exactly, yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> Just to make sure it's photographable. This is with, like, coincidental. Oh, yeah, yeah. Really well, yeah. I think if we had a big that, do we want to move the bag around? Okay, so if we can, like, kind of go more here okay. so we, we have less of this this plate is just literally like a little bit of a because <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're like <laughs> really, uh, you're really forcing your arms yeah, up no. oops sorry oh I'll boost it for you you've got great calves though I know what a dream I know yeah I think that's nice you've been hitting the gym yeah she has yeah. so you can take one thing from the table girls what were you saying you'd have legs or bag for me 100% the bag yeah legs the bag very important wait like that's not right that's kind of stunning go but I love yeah. that vibe. Okay, no, that's great, of course, thank you. Oh, there, we, there go. we go, we've got it. Is that, no, is that a wrap? Now, so we just we it's a half easier. wrap, I might be needing to do it. Half and half. Oh, that looks sick. It's cute, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh my god, the colours look so cool. I want that as like a print in my house. I know. <laughs> this is my, this is what I was most excited about, and it's come out so cool. It's really nice. Um, do you want a sandwich, is that okay? Yeah. Okay. I'm easy. Hello. So we're yeah. going lunch, Juicy. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to do a lunch run. So I'm trying having, to make sure I don't having. forget yeah. anyone. We've got Pret up. You nice. can get anything. I'll get a little assortment of snacks as well, guys. Don't worry. I wouldn't overload it. Also, I would remove yeah. these things completely. I think it needs to be as clean as possible. This sits with the sports and leisure for men's. Got a special guest featuring. <laughs> Front of the camera Who's today. definitely <laughs> not gonna cut this bit because it's great. Yeah. I choose what goes in this, so uh and two, time three. three. Oh. Okay. Maybe take the jug out. I think it's just gonna look very white from the little cream yeah. jug. Food and drink. Um messy little uh You got some cheese. See? We've got some cheese, we've got Cake. some well the actual shoppable things are more uh, the drinks, the cookbook, the yeah, lockdown stuff, these life. ones. Um oh, okay. yeah. so cool. We're getting there, we're getting uh, there. Getting there. Wait, How many more like... to go now? Just one. Oh, cool. There you go. And oh, cool. Cool. Wow, that's really cool. With love. I'm writing on the back first because I don't know whether yeah. I'm going to have. Oh, I feel like Secret Santa after all this feels a bit branded, yeah. personally. Yeah. Looking through the carrots, he was picking his nose. <laughs> What's the joke? <laughs> Why was the snowman looking through the carrots? He was picking his nose. I don't massively get it. No. <laughs> I like muffs. Looking through the carrot. Through the carrot. Through the carrot. Oh, because he was picking his nose. Like, so he was looking through like a row of carrots. That he was like, oh, 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 carrots. Oh, Jeez, oh it's been a long oh, day. Right. 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 Last shot, guys. Come on, we're nearly there. <laughs> Okay, guys, we wrapped. We, wrapped. we have officially wrapped. wrapped. Time is of the essence. We need to pack up. We get everything. Laura, happy? We've done it. I think we've it done it. Quite a what tight a squeeze day. at the end. Yeah, we uh, had a lot to get through, but it's, it's officially a wrap. Oh my god, I'm so It was a success. I told you it was like Yeah. Oh my god, we can do the front for one, one minute yeah, as well. Yeah, that's right. It's a big, big, big exit. <laughs> Wait, can I go through this? I want to go through the thing. That wasn't very impressive. It was done. Day one is done. It was a rough start, but we did it as a team. Well done, everyone. It's going to be really exciting. I think it's going to be fun. Yeah, it looked really good. Best one yet. I'm claiming it now. Cool. <laughs> Touch wood. <laughs> Angela, I know you have kindly said that you are a particular fan of our gift guide this oh year. Oh my god, I absolutely love it. I actually, I actually asked whether it comes in printed version because I just want to have it on my coffee table <laughs> and get in the holiday spirit. You know? Yeah, it's, and the rollerblades. I know. Oh my it's god. It's very Hodge wrote some whole spiel about rollerblades on roast potatoes and how fabulous <laughs> it is. I'm not going to say that, but, <laughs> but I mean, I, I take no credit. Our team did the most incredible job, and it was quite ambitious. But well done all. So if you have haven't done your Christmas shopping yet, ladies. That's where you need to go. Um, right, back in September, we launched the list, which was the sheer luxe list of 100 individuals who over the past 12 months have done something exceptional. Bay, you were on our list for, and I wanna get this right, for spearheading the annual secondhand September campaign. Thank you yes. so much. Um, okay. And for writing your first book. Congratulations. Oh, congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. A moment for the book before we come back onto the yeah. list. Tell and us I about the book. And I should also say that the Oxfam Second and September campaign, of course, I was part of a team of people. I should say that. <laughs> because, of course, that's 
the truth. For but thank you so much. <laughs> My God, it's such a lovely thank you. It's lovely to be on the list. The book is yes, called Style and Substance, Why What We Wear Matters. Mm -hmm. And it's really a kind of, <clears throat> uh, I wanted to do a book, but I didn't want to do it about secondhand. And all my favourite style books had been done in the 1970s. You've got Cheap Sheet by Carol Troy and mm. Kathy Millinaire and More Dash Than Cash. So it's kind of been done so well. So anyway, the, I, then I was like, OK, so what about a book where it's like an archaeological kind of style dig in a way? So it's like excavating what other people think. So Chloe Sevigny on Traditional with a Twist and Bella Freud on A Charm of a Suit and Jilly Cooper on Retail Therapy and Rachel Weiss on Her Love of Blue Denim. So Sandy Powell, who the Oscar winning um, costume designer on Closer's Character. This idea of basically taking style from mm. lots of different rich places. I also, you just reminded me, of course, yeah. about your fabulous podcast. Sorry, ladies. I don't know if you've listened to this whole oh. thing by Babe on it, which is just brilliant. And your Sandy Power episode in particular oh, is thank just you. so brilliant. That's so I just sweet. So loved it. it's awesome. Thank you. She's a really, she's fascinating. very interesting mm. person, isn't yeah. she? And she's got, she's so intelligent and, and, uh, and I, yeah, she's, she's just great. I, thank you. Are you still going with the podcast? I am. I am. I've kind of because the book was kind sure. of like in a way it was doing what the podcast, that thing of mm. talking to people and it was kind of did that. But I will go back to the podcast. Okay. Yeah, I, I paused it. for. I think it's quite nice to pause stuff sometimes mm. and then go. Do, yeah. Do I yeah. like this? Is this good enough? Mm, have a thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go, take, take yourself back a bit. Yeah. Um, so obviously lots of inspiring women in fashion on your podcast. So I wanted to know who inspires, who inspires all of you? Who are the women that you look at in the industry or the people you look at in the industry and just love? Angela? I have so many. I literally have so many icons and women who, who inspired me. I think the first one I want to say will be Sarah Blakely, who founded Spanx. Mm -hmm. I mean, she's gone from fax saleswoman to creating a whole new category in the mm -hmm. hosiery. I mean, it's nothing short of amazing. And her masterclass, must listen, must watch. Is that right? Is it yeah. really good? Oh, okay. so good. For anybody who want to start something, mm -hmm. it's great. And I think I also want to say Jennifer Fisher, the jewelry designer. I mean, she, I think, inspires me to be whoever you want to be and do whatever you want to do. Everybody knows her to be a jewelry designer, but she's also she also has an Instagram page that says uh, Jennifer Fisher Kitchen, and I get all my recipes from because she's a big advocate for healthy anti-inflammatory eating and lifestyle, and she has a range of um, Jennifer Fisher salt that's not only yummy but super good for you. Okay. Great wow. avocado and everything, sure. oh, and <laughs> yeah, it's like the best thing ever. So you can and be I, a multi hyphenate, basically. Oh, you can definitely <laughs> you can do, do that. that yeah. And she's recently had a collaboration with Commando for some, uh, you know, like high neck, turtleneck yes. um, shirts, etc. It's amazing. And also, I think on the fashion style wise, I love Anadella Russell, who just has so much fun. Love Vera Wang, who started her own business mm. at forty or forty one. Mm. Just shows you never too late. Um, and I think. On the ground in London, we have some designers um, who really inspires me. I think Susan Fang, who's mm -hmm. linen based and super young, but she's also collaborated with um, Nike to design this basketball court in the deep mountains of China to inspire young schoolgirls who have little access to the outside world oh, cool. and who have few role models. Mm. So it was amazing. And also, I love the girls behind the Polster Girl, yeah. Yeah. Francesca yeah, so, Kappa yeah. and Natasha uh, Somerville. They're just having so much fun with style, mm. with fashion, and they created a viral campaign um, without even having a runway show mm. for spring, summer 24. Yeah, so the these so clever at that. Amazing women. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Fetty, what about so you? interesting. <laughs> How do I go after that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I no, so many great names. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Uh, I'm definitely going to say I agree with you. I have so many as well. I like to surround myself, uh, even my friendship group, um, with people that inspire me and are doing better than me. Um, so actually, Angela is one of my closest friends oh. uh, and she's definitely an inspiration because not many people know that she's a lawyer. Yeah. Well. Thank you. <laughs> um, so badass. So this is what I mean. I have a lot of friends that, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that inspire me. Sophia, our common best friend um, who started uh, an amazing PR agency. Um, I would say I love being inspired by people who started later mm. in the game because it really shows that it's never too late. My friend Alessandra Rich, I admire her so much because she started at 40 as well. Is that right? Yeah. Did she really? Yeah, she started in Harris. She has an amazing story. She started 
um, inherits designing um, gowns um, and uh, they loved it so much that it, she was like, you know what, I'm going to start a brand and it just, I didn't know that yeah, one. and the rest yeah. is history. And then um, what Julia Hart did mm. really fascinates me mm. because she started, um, obviously she, she ran away from a kibbutz and um, she started her life really at 40 mm. as well. And um, yeah, I have lots of inspiration mm. from... A lot of a lot of people. I think you might be, you may be a, a new one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, no, yeah. Truly, you truly guys are sheer luck. Oh, I think no, but it's true. I think it's really like it's nice to surround yourself with, uh, and oh. what you do here is amazing because we always get to meet amazing amazing people in the industry yeah. on this chat show. So mm. yeah, shout out to you guys. Oh, thanks. So much. <laughs> thanks. The well-oiled machine. Oh, yeah. Sheer luck. Yeah. Stop yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, this is not the point of the conversation. Faye, <laughs> yeah. um, what about you? Who's on your list? I mean, I really admire Charlotte Tilbury, who's mm. also a really mm. good friend of mine. And it's not just the brand that she started, but her kind of her, her mindset and her energy and her everything. Mm. And her, um, I really, yeah, what she's done is incredible. I admire people that, you know, actually getting stuff done is hard. Mm. Like, it, I mean, it, it, you know what I mean? So people who kind of like show up and, and, and you know, not just create, but like, um, I guess it's that thing of deliver, deliver, mm -hmm. yeah. and that energy and consistency. And actually, not to plug my book again, but you know, <laughs> talking, but talking to Bella Freud and like the kind of her, the, the people who've really thought about things and they've really kind of created their own thing and they they've worked really hard on it and they've thought a lot about it and um, and that's one of the things I really came away from my book is these kind of these stories of people who. Um, have just devoted so much of their time and energy into creating beautiful, amazing things. Lovely. That's lovely. No, that's perfect. <laughs> no. I feel so inspired just sitting How here. about you? No, how about, oh my God, it's so hard. It's so hard. I agree with all of the above. It's so hard. All of the above. You're not getting off that yeah. Oh God, so <laughs> difficult. That's Shit. what I wanted to say. Shit. <laughs> you know what I love. Are you joking? I mean, I'm an, okay, I tell you, I tell you my, I am an old school, you know, I think I'm probably the last of the generation of people who just revered <laughs> magazines so much. And it's, you know, proper print. I, I'm an editor, you know, like yes. I just yeah. always looked up to the women who were, who were running the magazine. So whether it's Emmanuel Olsh or, you know, whoever, Sarah Harris today, like, you know, the, the women who are kind of at the helm of, uh, you know, who always historically were at the helm yeah. of, of those, the kind of real glory days of print. Yeah. I think what have always been my, they're my kind of career and lifestyle and yeah. fashion yeah. role models kind of all rolled into one. Just totally makes that, sense. That a good yeah. enough answer? Yeah. There we go. Okay, yeah. I'm off the hook. Um, ladies, thank you so much. And thank you for watching. On next week's show, Polly is back with more wonderful guests. We've got a fab interview. We're going to be spending more time behind the scenes with the team too. In the meantime, we would love it. If you could comment below, do give us a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye-bye.